Brescia, in the north of Italy, is a city with a rich history dating back over 3,000 years. Transworld Sport last paid a visit to Brescia back in 2007. We spent time with a then 17-year-old artistic gymnast by the name of Vanessa Ferrari, who was changing the face of her sport in Italy after becoming the 2006 all-around world champion. Thanks to Vanessa's success, interest in gymnastics amongst Italian women and children increased dramatically. Spin forward 10 years and Transworld Sport is back in Brescia with a talented team aiming to follow in Vanessa Ferrari's footsteps. Introducing 13-year-old Giorgia Villa. Gymnastics is my life and it's my passion too. The best thing about the sport is that when you put the effort in, you can achieve your goals. Since taking up gymnastics, I've set my own goal, to one day compete at the Olympic Games. Giorgia was born in the city of Bergamo, but she currently lives and trains at the Brixia Gym Academy on the outskirts of Brescia. Her development is overseen by head coach Enrico Casella. I started gymnastics when I was four years old. I was such an active child that I could barely keep still, so my mum took me to a gym close to home. My coach at that time, Irene, took part in the Sydney Olympics in 2000, and she used to train under Enrico Casella. During a training session, I asked Irene if she could take me to Brescia so that I could have a photo taken with Vanessa Ferrari. And one day she did. When I arrived here, Enrico, Vanessa's coach, asked me to have a trial session and immediately got me on board. That's how I started at Brixia. We noticed her potential instantly. She started training more often. But since she was very young, it was right for her to be living at home. So it carried on like that. Little by little, we started to increase her training days here until she eventually made the move. Over the past few years, Georgia has dominated at junior competitions across Europe. At the 2016 International Comme la Ville tournament in France, the Italian won six events, including gold in the all-around. This year, I took part in the Gymnics event in Canada, where I was competing against gymnasts from America, Russia, Canada and Japan. I tried out some new routines and I finished third in the all-around competition, which I was really happy about. Coming third and being on the podium next to two gymnasts who will very likely be competing for Team USA at their next Olympics was definitely a big achievement for Georgia. She did really well, and it was probably her best performance so far on the world stage. She has what it takes to be successful at an international level. During a competition at the start of this year, Giorgia ruptured her Achilles tendon. She receives daily physiotherapy sessions since having surgery on it in April. However, the youngster still trains six days a week for around 30 hours, but at the moment she's focusing on the uneven bars, which is less strenuous on her injury. At the Italian Championships in Perugia earlier this month, the 13-year-old placed first on the bars, beating both her junior and senior compatriots. I'm really pleased that I managed to win gold in the uneven bars event, only six months after my Achilles tendon injury. Vanessa Ferrari is one gymnast always willing to offer help and advice to Georgia. Having also suffered with an Achilles injury, Vanessa, who's now 26, recently returned to training with the aim of competing at her fourth Olympics in 2020. I've known Georgia since she was little, when we first started here at Brixia. So I've known her for many years now. 
For a couple of months after the Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro, I even trained her and we went to an event in Canada together. So every now and then we work together and I coach her. She is a very good gymnast who has a fierce determination. When she puts her mind to something, she achieves it. Georgia manages to successfully juggle her sport with her studies. And at the weekend, if she's not training or competing, the 13-year-old enjoys going back home to Bergamo to see her family. When I go home, I just like to hang out with my friends and family. When I'm here in Brescia, I spend time with my teammates. We play cards and listen to music together. Sometimes to relax, I like to read, but mostly I play cards and go out with my friends and do the normal things that girls my age do. Over the coming months, Georgia's aim is to be fully recovered from her injury so that she can prepare for next year's European Junior Championships. And long term, the Italian is looking to make the step up to the senior ranks in 2019. So, could Giorgia Villa be the first female Italian gymnast to win an individual medal at the Olympic Games? I'd love to take part in the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo, perhaps even be in the team with Vanessa. I dream of reaching the level that she has achieved since she is Italy's greatest ever gymnast. When I am older, I would also like to open a gym with two of my teammates because I would like to help other athletes achieve their Olympic dreams. Georgia is a talented gymnast. Although her body is not perfect for artistic gymnastics, she is so determined to be a success in the sport. A champion isn't someone who does everything perfectly. A champion is someone who pulls out something special at the right moment that no one else is able to do. Those are Georgia's qualities. When the time is right, when she is ready, and when she finds herself in the best condition, I believe she is capable of doing something that will set her apart from her competitors. That's what makes a champion.